Yeah, I'm a nerd myself, so it strikes me that uh, in my community people tend to think more often in terms of true and false and they synchronize their opinions with arguments. That doesn't mean that their uh, worldviews are true. It just means that the worldviews are usually not found by uh, trying to converge with the people around you. Whereas uh, most humans have uh, a tendency to think in terms of not true and false, but in terms of right and wrong. And right and wrong are not absolutes. They depend on your group, of uh, where you are, of your society, your ideology and so on. And uh, if you try to get it right instead of uh, finding the true opinion, it means uh, that you try to find a way to converge with the people you like most, which have the highest status in your in-group. And that's actually a good thing, because it made us very successful as a species. If you just try to find truth, you're not necessarily going to converge. So you should, in a society, optimize for convergence, even at the cost of getting it wrong, which means that individuals probably have an evolutionary propensity to prefer convergence, to prefer giving up uh, responsibility for their beliefs to the group mind over uh, trying to think independently if this endangers them in getting into disagreement with the group. The yes. difficulty is of course that if a group mind optimizes for convergence then the group mind might often be more stupid than the smartest individuals in the group. And this is something that is not very good for science. So uh, there are a lot of nerds in science because they can think in straight in groups because they have difficulty converging. Um, what I found is, uh, when you look at the public discourse on this topic, uh, and there was, for instance, this uh, in Medium post by uh, Jonathan Zunger, who was an ex-Google uh, manager, who waded in on this controversy and suggested that this uh, author of the memo should be immediately fired, because he uh, said something uh, that uh, would create a much worse environment at Google. And if you look at the arguments that uh, Zunger brought in his post, um, he first points out that uh, the science doesn't support any claim that there are biological differences between men and women. Um, the second one is um, that uh, it, it is not acceptable to say that there are differences between men and women in their ability as engineers. And the third one is, he said that women are more empathetic and therefore are more engineer, better engineers than men. Um, to a nerd, this seems to be like a contradiction, regardless of what the facts on the ground are. And I don't know what the facts on the ground are because I didn't research this myself. And there are so many studies in that area. But it, it seems to be a contradiction. And it seems to me that uh, Zunger does assume, yes, on the ground there are facts which do support such a difference, because otherwise he wouldn't set, have said the third point. But for political reasons, we cannot make that point. And this leads to a very interesting difference in discourse, because many of the nerds seem to think that discourse is about content. It's about imparting information, so everybody can make their judgment autonomously and have their own opinion on how to deal with the world. And therefore, we need to have the best collection of facts about everything and need to get these facts right. And for most people, uh, the purpose of communication is coordination between groups, between individuals and society. And uh, if that is your primary objective, then uh, the value of effect that you present is the effect that it's going to have on the uh, coordination between people. And a lot of nerds don't seem to understand this, or they don't have the right intuition about this, and the intuition of most of the non-nerds about this, that they get this much easier. And this is part of the controversy. Uh, is, for instance, this Google memo a statement about facts, or is it a statement about how society, or Google at this point, should be organized? If you are uh, in the former camp, you think that uh, uh, James Dam Moore, who made, wrote this memo, made a statement about facts that you can dispute or critique or agree with, and we should discuss these facts, whether they are correct or not. And the second group thinks he made a statement that said uh, Google should change its hiring policies to hire fewer women, because uh, that might be the possible outcome of that discussion. And uh, the people that are in the second camp think that uh, he actually would oppose um, getting more women into Google, even though in his uh, memo he says he wants to have more diversity and he thinks it's valuable. So um, what was his true intention about how this? I don't know. But the really interesting thing about this is that different groups of people read this memo very, very differently. And it's very hard for them to get an agreement about uh, the content of the memo, because how can you agree when you have different idea about what truth is in communication? And, of course, you cannot get people to agree with something that's not in their interest to believe, including the idea that truth matters. Mm -hmm.